Welcome to Lagunitas. We've got, uh, behind us, we've got a brand new Rolex, German, highly engineered, very state-of-the-art brewing system that uh, we think we're going to be very proud of, we're pretty sure. We're not up and running with it yet, so proof's in the pudding. But uh, the, uh, there's other breweries in the country that have put this system in. Victory bought one from Rolex. Stone bought one. We're the third brewery, and there are many, many more that are going to line up behind these guys because they really are state-of-the-art right now. And, and they're from Germany, so they probably know what they're doing over there. Uh, we've got an 80 barrel system it's a little smaller than the other guys are putting in but we've got a little bit smaller growth plan I think we've been growing faster than we wanted to for 14 years and uh, it's time to kind of taper off the ship bring the bow down into the water and let's just ride this thing for a while so doing this we're gonna be able to grow as much as we possibly want to now instead of can we make enough beer to keep up with demand um, we're not gonna get any crazier with any growth plans we're in 23 states now, we'll add a few more this year, maybe a few more next year. Uh, it's not the biggest part of our growth. We we just uh, we just keep growing in Northern California and Oregon and Washington and New York. I mean, everywhere we're at, it's going great, thanks to, thanks to beer geeks out there that love good beer. So if you keep drinking it, we'll keep making it. We measure the hops in by hand still, so we've got precise measurements. The hops get dosed in by hot work coming out of the kettle, flushing into the vessel, flushing the hops back into the, to the, to the kettle, and hopping the beer right on time every time. So we've got six of them here. We could do two batches of beer, three hop additions each. Down at the end here, we've got a bigger vessel that uh, we had to, you know, the Germans were like, we don't understand. What is it you do with this? We don't have any idea what you're talking about when they're engineering this thing. They're like, well, we make this beer called brown sugar. We put a lot of brown sugar in the beer. They were like, all right, we can figure that out. So this will be where we dump the brown sugar in in the winter time to make brown sugar. Same thing, it doses it with, with hot work, pulls the brown sugar back into the kettle, and off we go. And, uh, you know, the hot, hot brown sugar was an, uh, an original mistake, but now that we tried to do it, we've made it very scientific, as you can see. It was originally a mistake at, a, at an attempt to make our second year of barley wine, and uh, they had too much grain in the mash, they didn't get water to it, they had a recipe glitch, and then at the end of the, the runoff, they didn't have enough sugar. So they went to every grocery store in town, bought every two pound box, four pound box, five pound bag of C&H brown sugar they could find, came back and dumped it in the kettle, thinking they were making our barley wine. Well, it fermented over the weekend, came out, something between bourbon, moonshine, and beer. We weren't really sure what the hell we had. So we waited a little while. We made our gnarly wine again, got it right. And uh, as we tasted this over the couple of weeks that was sitting in the fermenter, we were trying to figure out if we should dump it or not. It kept tasting better and better. So we were like, well, it's not gnarly wine, but we'll release it. So Tony called it brown sugar. But instead of limited release, which is what all our seasonals said, it said accidental release. And uh, that sounded like a toxic waste spill of some sort, but sold like crazy. People kept calling for it until we made it the next year. Luckily, when the brewers were making a mistake on the batch and fucking it up, they took good notes. They knew exactly how they fucked it up. We were able to fuck it up again every year for the last 10 years, and uh, that's, that's how we make brown chicken. The Germans figured it out so we can still do it with the new brew house.